Jimmy Onaki defied the odds and never let the effects of dwarfism hold him back. High school lacrosse, college lacrosse, and an amazing life. Jimmy Onaki refused to let his handicap in any way stop him from doing what the rest of the team was doing. Over a 40-plus year run with homegrown Hall of Fame coach Mike Masera leading the team, West Genesee High School in Camillus, New York became one of the most storied programs in the sports history. 846 victories, a national record of 91 straight wins, 15 state championships, six National Lacrosse Hall of Famers, and an inspirational story for the ages. He, he loved watching the competitiveness of him and when he got a chance to play, uh, the kid, the kid was good. You know, if you had to compare the the effort he had to give to even one of some of the best players, the efforts they gave, there's no comparison. So if you go by effort, which is part of what you choose kids on, and when you're making a team, you got to have, you know, it's not always just the superstars that count. It's those kids that they got to have kids that can can be part of the team and not always be the star out there. All things being the same, if Jimmy couldn't play at all, I think Mr. Masser would have cut him. But Jimmy was a consummate team player. He was good for the team. If everybody that participated in sports had a heart that big and worked that hard, you know, I'm not going to say we'd be undefeated, but we'd be damn good. Jimmy's lacrosse career didn't end at West Genesee. Following his graduation, he joined a lacrosse team at Oswego State. I never realized my stature. I just, it was just great to be part of the team. I was happy. They think, you know, how could you have gone out there and played against people that are twice your size and it's just another person, you know? And they got to play against me. In 2019, James H. Onaki will be inducted into the Camillus West Genesee Sports Hall of Fame, joining some of the biggest names in the history of the sport.